Hello friends, this is Chinmay Das from Ethereum Lexel and in this episode we are going to try a tandoor masala mix. So this tandoor masala mix can be used in different kind of meat or fish, shrimp, vegetable, paneer, tofu, whether if you are using mushroom, tofu, paneer, zucchini, you name it and you can use the spice, you use this masala mix on that vegetables, on that kind of meat, whether you are using chicken, lamb, goat. So let's check the ingredients. So to prepare this, we need like a hunker or like we have to take out all the moisture out of it. So you put the yogurt or curd on a strainer or in a muslin cloth and uh, keep it like overnight or six to eight hours better to keep it inside the refrigerator and then once all the water comes out that thick curd or thick yogurt we use it because the main uh, technique behind making any kind of grill or tandoor dishes is you have to reduce the moisture content you do not want your spices to be watery so that it will, it will fall off the meat or fall off the vegetable or paneer. So we want to reduce the moisture content when it turn a little runny because of the oil or lime juice. Other than that, no moisture. No, no moisture. I have my mixing bowl ready here. To this I added one and a half cup of hung curd or thick yogurt, half cup of sour cream, 2 tablespoons of crushed ginger and garlic 1 teaspoon turmeric powder 1 and a half tablespoon of kashmiri chili powder or paprika 1 tablespoon of cumin powder 1 tablespoon of coriander powder 1 fourth cup or 3 tablespoon of tandoori chicken masala so to the vegetarians, this is no meat or chicken or any non-veg flavoring in tandoori chicken masala. You can very well go ahead and add the store brought tandoori chicken masala here. Another spice which is homemade, I took around 1 tablespoon of oil in a pan, 1 tablespoon of minced garlic and 1 tablespoon of minced green chili. Saute it for 1 and 2 minutes, then add 3 tablespoon of chickpea flowers and saute it for additional one or two minutes. So this gives a dry spice for you. Juice of half a lime. If you, if you want to add any kind of food coloring, you can, but I prefer not to add any food color. This is an organic vegetable food color which I have made at home. I took two beetroots and grated it and then sun dried it and once completely dried, I made a powder out of it and store it in an airtight container for my use. You can also use a dehydrator if you cannot sun dry the grated beetroots. <clears throat> so basically there is no chemicals. You also need one teaspoon of crushed black pepper, one tablespoon of salt. So do remember store brought tandoori masala have some salt if you like look at everything here uh, it's it's very dry like very little moisture mix them well keep mixing till you get a good consistency of all the spices and yogurt in there so also, we need to add another must ingredient that is uh, the mustard oil. We'll add around one and a half tablespoon of mustard oil. And this is very, very important ingredients. Unless you are allergic to mustard oil, you can add any other oil like I would suggest using mustard oil because that gives a very good flavoring to your tandoor vegetable or meat, whatever you're making. And this is the base tandoor masala. Any kind of tandoor dish you want to make, 
you can use this to make chicken, lamb, goat, fish, shrimp, paneer, tofu, zucchini, cauliflower, mushrooms or any other meat or vegetables. You may need to add few more spices for a fish or shrimp. So that's how it is guys. And another thing like I wanted to add here. I have used crushed ginger and garlic so this will reduce the moisture content in case if you are using ginger garlic paste then do squeeze it out so that the, all the moisture or water content will go away so that way like whatever ingredients you are using it will be completely dry and there will be very less moisture so that will help in binding this masala mix onto your meat or vegetable so Please do try this recipe at home and do let me know how it turns out. Do not forget, do not forget to subscribe, share and like. Thank you guys.